today. So I haven't been here for a little while. I've been busy at work, etc. And for some reason, <laughs> Graham decided he, he enjoyed working on the Land Rover so much. Or maybe he just wanted it out of his workshop. But he's been here working on it without me. So let's go and see what he's been doing. So Graham finished off the work I started. So he's put some under seal and stuff on that bit of welding I did behind that brake pipe. Um, he was going to finish the welding I did on that box, but I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> he's, he's either done a really good job at welding it or he's made a new one, which is what he did. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so I have a new box, which is probably a million times stronger than the old one. It looks brilliant. And uh, the shock absorbers, they've been replaced with new ones. I didn't realise he needed new shock absorbers. But um, Graham said he started to clean the one up on the pass uh, driver's side and it sprung a leak, which I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> so Graham here has the old shock absorber. And yeah, it's not happy. <laughs> it's <laughs> leaking a lot. It wasn't leaking before, was it? No. It was only when you hit it with the wire brush and it yeah. it give up give up the ghost. Oh well. I'm glad it happened now and not, you know, when it was on the car and I didn't know about it. <laughs> with the amount of oil it leaks, I wouldn't have realised it come from that. <laughs> yeah. Not good. And then down here as well we have the uh driver's side fuel tank, which I knew leaked. And it had a, I knew it had like a small, well, at the time, a pinprick hole on the back, which Graham found and repaired brilliantly. <laughs> and the bottom, the bottom of the tank, that was all sort of crusty and deformed, so he's made new brackets. Both sides, was it, or just that side? Just that side. Yeah, new bracket on there. So it looked brilliant, it was ready for action <laughs> but you, you can see Graham's not impressed <laughs> he did all this work put petrol in it and uh, what does it come out of it? every orifice or something did it like Niagara Falls <laughs> all over the floor <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing <laughs> but yeah unfortunately um, yeah it's got a lot more rot hidden away underneath than we were Under aware yeah, underneath this plate. Mm. Oh well. So now, if we go over to the Land Rover, we have a brand new fuel tank in there, which is very smart. We've got the new fuel tank in there, the welding has all been done on that bracket. The new fuel tank outrigger is in place. All been wax oiled. So remember we had the pool of oil underneath the vehicle. That was from this uh, transfer box seal. Graham's kindly replaced that for me. That was a pain, apparently. <laughs> there were bits of metal floating around in there and all sorts. And then somewhere under here, the slave cylinder for the clutch has been replaced as well. It's tucked up here somewhere. I can't quite remember. I don't know. It's in there somewhere. Yeah, it's in purgatory. What does purgatory mean? <laughs> On the way to hell. <laughs> On the way to hell. Brilliant. So, yeah, Land Rover is pretty much near completion for what we wanted to do to it. In fact, I think we've done, or well, Graham's done a lot more than originally planned. <laughs> What was it meant to be, Graham? Just two holes and yeah, a couple of, holes and couple of bushes. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, it's like been a full-on restoration.
he's come out of the workshop. <laughs> Let's go for a test drive. This is, this is more comfortable, is it? <laughs> it's not more comfortable than it used to be. Well, I'm glad I didn't drive in it when it wasn't more comfortable then. <laughs> God almighty! <laughs>
that's the Land Rover done for now it's time to get onto the P4 <laughs> my camera works shoddy today but yeah I'm really really happy with how the Land Rover's driving and riding it's much less squeaky and noisy and knocky I should have taken Graham around the block in it before we did the work so he could really appreciate it himself uh, yeah I'm happy with what we've got done very happy oh, and I've got an extra fuel tank now which is amazing needs a wash now look at that white diff <laughs> Bye.